Hi, my name's Adam. This is the Adam Collective, and today we're gonna to talk about the brand new Elan Ripstick Tour. So, Elan's building on their ever so popular Ripstick collection. You've probably heard of it, you've probably seen it, you've probably walked into a ski shop and tried, and somebody tried to sell you on it. It's a really good ski. It's basically the ski that competes with an Orca Enforcer, a K2 Mindbender, a Head Core, any of those really popular skis. That is Elan's answer. Uh, to what they have going on. Um, enter the Elan Ripstick Tour. This is a lightweight version of the Ripstick with a similar profile, but a lot of the things are different to make the ski lighter weight, still stable, energetic, and still feel like a real ski. One of the biggest issues people have with buying touring skis is they don't want to buy a ski that's brittle and unskiable when they get into varied terrain. That is not the case with the new Ripstick Tour. It is an extremely impressive ski on the downhill. It feels damp enough, yet somehow snappy, lightweight, and actually a really exciting ski to get on. I skied it with an ATK binding this past spring, and I was actually super impressed with how it handled really slushy, but also really firm conditions. Um, slushy was kind of expected, like I thought it would be all right. I didn't expect it to be as fun as it was, but the thing I noticed the most was how well it handled itself on firmer terrain. Normally, skiing a pin binding on a lightweight ski is terrifying, especially on you know firm, icy, garbage terrain. It really wasn't on this. I'm not saying I would prefer to ski icy, shitty terrain all day, but I actually really enjoyed skiing the ski regardless of the terrain. Um, so let's talk about what they did. There is a left and a right specific ski, so that is definitely something to be aware of if you are new to the Elan program. They love to do this. They claim it gives you better edge control, it makes the ski ski better. I don't know about all this. I think it makes more sense uh, to just make the ski work both ways, but I digress. Carbon bridge technology. So they add this carbon bridge within the ski to make the ski lightweight, but they also make it so that the ski is damp enough and doesn't have that weird squirrely, like almost brittle feeling that a lot of lightweight skis have. Um, full sidewall on this ski, so made to basically ski on any terrain, rip whatever you want. They call it a 360 degree sidewall. It's actually stepped, so it's got a little notch in it basically. So you get a little extra bite in that edge hold. Um, and oh yeah, this is Glenn Plake's unofficial official pro model. So if you know who Glenn Plake is, which Ethan does not. Very cool uh, addition to the Elan line. And very cool that Glenn has his own ski in the lineup. Multicolored bases for the 2023. Um, they also have skin notches for Elan specific skins. Uh, you can obviously run a regular skin if you'd like and the tail is notched appropriately so. Uh, decent amount of tip rocker, decent amount of tail rocker, but the biggest thing to note is how much camber there is underfoot. Uh, there's quite a bit. The ski's poppy, it's snappy, and I think this is actually a really good move for them for a ski that is so lightweight. They didn't just take a ripstick and take everything out of it. They actually built a new ski. And I think that's one of the most important things because a lot of companies, <coughs> Nordica, um, just rip all the good stuff out of the ski and then they call it a touring ski because it's lighter. And I just think that this ski kind of didn't do that. And I don't know, props to Elan. Just like most of the other skis in the line, this one was made in Slovenia at the Elan factory which seems normal, but a lot of skis are actually made there that are not Elan skis because it's one of the best ski factories in the whole world. So um, super high quality builds, something you can count on. It's a ski that you can go back to over and over and over again and know that it'll be reliable. And that might sound like a thing that everybody does in 2023. It's not. This is actually a huge step um, to have high quality products coming out consistently. Um, and Elan has always done that. So props to them. Um, last thing I will say, big radius on the ski. Okay, so really wide turning, 23 meter radius in a 180. It doesn't mean you have to make 23 meter turns, but the ski prefers to ski at speed, which I think is a very odd thing for a lightweight touring ski to get something like this that is basically a GS ski. Um, but it's comfortable. It's comfortable going at speed, and I think the turn radius reflects that. Read the full review at outofpodcast.com. And if you have any questions, ask them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer all of them. Okay, cool. Bye.